G'day, Stu here from UAV Futures, and today we're going to be checking out something that I'm really excited about because uh, I get a lot of quads on this show, and I guess, you know, take them out and I have some expectations, but this thing just totally smashed it out of the park. I've had it for a little while, but I finally put it together, flew it on 2S, and my mind has been totally blown. So what this is, this is the Aurora, this is like a 90 millimeter brushless quad and uh, I sort of built this one up from scratch and I'll have a list of all the components and we're going to talk about all that in the in the uh, comments or in the description down below but the reason I'm so excited about this this is because this is like a brushless tiny whoop that runs on 2s it is a rock solid stable can do some pretty awesome acro and uh, yeah I'm super in love with this thing so I'm gonna be getting a lot more 2s batteries in the future because I only have one which really really sucks because as soon as I finished that first 2s battery I immediately wished I had a another 10. Anyway, what we're going to do, we're going to stick it on the bench. Uh, we're not going to be doing a build video, but I will show you how I put it together because it was a very, very easy build. And we'll talk about the components that are in here. And then uh, we'll take it for some flight footage because I know a lot of you guys who are snowed in or it might be terrible weather out there in the Northern Hemisphere, you guys are going to absolutely love this because this thing by far, so far, is the uh, funnest little micro that I've flown around. And it's a brushless 2S. It is totally beast. Anyway, enough rambling from me. Let's stick it on the bench and get started. Alrighty, so here's this little beauty on the bench and I know you guys are going to love it as much as I do and I, I've got to say it looks amazing and it also flies amazing. So I'm very, very impressed and all my favourite quads, I love to give them names. So if you can think of an awesome name for this one, drop it in the comments below because uh, this thing flies so well, I definitely want to give it, a, it's got such a big personality, it deserves a name. So drop that in the comments below. Let's talk about the actual quad itself. So uh, it's using the Aurora frame and all the parts that I use in this build I'll link down in the description below. Below. And the Aurora frame is, I guess, a tiny whoop, I guess, inspired little frame. And uh, you can see it's got some ducted props just here, and it is 90 millimeters from motor to motor, so it's got a very small footprint. You can see compared to my hand, if it's not very big at all, it's not really going to do too much damage. And especially if you're bumping into things, this thing's going to be perfect for inside. Now we're moving on towards the inside, and this is where some of the stars of the show are. So right here, these tiny little green motors, these are some race star, racer star, I should say, BR 1103. 10,000 kV motors and these things are absolute little weapons and because it's brushless that means you're going to get so much more power so much more efficiency and thrust versus your standard motors that you've been using your standard brush motors which are in most of the tiny whoops that people have been flying around now to talk about the other parts in the middle here we do have a flight control an f3 flight controller an all-in-one esc but i'm going to have to take it apart to show you that so i'll take it apart in a little bit but on the top i do want to point out look at this fantastic design right here so you've got this nice big antenna protector because you've got a circular polarized, um, sorry, a little CP antenna at the top right there. It's well protected. So if you have any crashes, you're not going to damage anything or snap anything off. And the beauty about this, this is a camera VTX combo, very, very common in a lot of the micros that we've been doing. And But it's also switchable. So you can switch out what power level you'd like to fly around with this thing. And that's all connected up here very easily to the middle inside component. So what I might do, I might take this apart and then uh, we'll have a look at the inside side of it and I can talk more about the flight controller and more about the ESCs. Alrighty, so I've got it apart just here and you can see on the top this is like a Pico BLX clone and all the links are in the description and this thing is fantastic because you can just direct power up your LiPo straight to this. This works as your flight controller as well as your PDB so you can distribute all your power makes your build very very easy. You can see there's not really too much in the building process in this thing whatsoever. Now if I unscrew it further in here you'll notice I do have a tiny little FlySky receiver and I just installed that because that means I can fly it around with my Turnergy Evolution which is great so I'm not stuck using some random radio you could put whatever receiver you like which sometimes I think is a bit of a problem for people who fly their traditional tiny whoops you can uh, you get stuck with some receivers or need a module but with this because it's a proper flight controller board you can use whatever receiver you can jam in there so you can see I've got my little micro receiver stuck underneath that's the FS a8s a really good really I think in my opinion reliable little flight controller and I've got a video on that which you can check out just here if you want to check out the FS a8s 
And then underneath here, one of the, the other stars of the show, we've got a 4-in-1 uh, 6-amp ESC. So these are the ESCs that control all their motors. And you can see how easy the build is. So all you have to do, these have little tabs on them. You just have to connect the motors up to the correct little ports on here. So And there's a little solder port for each one of these. That's got some wires that spit out there. That's all the signal wires. So that connects up to uh, your flight controller. Then all you have to do is solder in your three wires for your little S bus receiver and a positive and a ground for your radio uh, for your VTX and camera and you're good to go that's it this build is very very easy and requires minimum soldering so I'm a massive fan I think for anybody wanting to get into the hobby that's looking forward to I guess maybe doing a little bit of a build they just don't want to buy one straight off the shelf if you're more than happy to build one this is a great little starting flyer because you're not going to bump into things or you are going to bump into things but you're not going to damage too much they've got good flight times a good balance of power and stability and all those sorts of things in my opinion they tick a ton of boxes so if we flip it over you can see for me I just put a little XT60 XT30 connector on the bottom because that's the sort of batteries that I've been using so I've been using this what was that flying around with that was uh, a 1000 hang on I've got 2s written on the top because uh, oh there it is a 460 milliamp hour battery so it's getting some good flight times with that maybe uh, between three and five minutes depending on how you're flying yeah overall I'm very very happy I can't wait to go out and buy some more batteries and then underneath, I don't know if I mentioned this, I was just using a rubber band, putting it around these two latches and sliding it in under there. Very, very snug. Anyway, let's put it back together and then we'll uh, stick it on the scales and weigh the thing and uh, see how much it is. So take your bets now. So let's cut to that in three, two, one. Alrighty, so I've got my scales just here, putting this on the bench, it's coming in at 57 grams. So look, it is not as light as a tiny whip, but I think uh, with the brushless power and also a 2S battery, so if we stick the battery in there, it's coming in at 87 grams, I think people are going to have a ton of fun. So not quite as light, there is a little bit more weight. But uh, in regards to flying this around the house, I think for me this thing is going to be perfect because the tiny whip, although fun, uh, sometimes I can feel like it's a little bit lacking, especially when it's dropping out of the sky or I guess it's coming out of a big fall. Anyway, uh, one thing I do want to point out is here, these two, these props right here, they fit perfectly on there, but I did have to drill the inside of them out to make them fit perfectly on these motors because they're not designed for these tiny little brushless motors. These props are designed more for your Hubson style of flying, so I had to take a little drill and drill it through them middle I think it was a, a one and a half millimeter drill bit I'm not not too sure right there but very very easy and uh, anyway so they're the props that are going to be linked in the description but if you get those you guys just going to have to put a little little drill bit through them so that takes about two seconds anyway enough rambling about the actual build itself because we all know that it looks awesome it's got some awesome components in here let's cut to its maiden flight and you guys are going to absolutely love it so let's cut to that in three two one a hooky dokey. So here we go on board, and uh, this is worth noting. This is its very first maiden flight. So you see, it takes a little bit to get used to. Probably like all quads out there. But I was amazed after maybe like 30 seconds of flying around just how much more comfortable I felt before I'd even finished this battery. So that was probably something that was I was really astounded with was just how good this quad started to feel in the air once I sort of got my, the hang of it and I sort of realized how much it would drop and how it was in turns. And look, it did take a, a few seconds, but it was one of the quickest quads I've ever sort of felt really, really comfortable with. And there's that bumper coming in handy. So you can see uh, a, lot of prop, a lot of quads might sort of crash there, but with these bumpers on, you can just bounce off things and you're totally ready to to rock and roll and keep flying so here we are a bit of kitchen exploring which is great it's very very stable in the air and uh you can just pop up over the top of those so that was something that i found really enjoyable and i really see myself buying a ton more batteries because this was one quad that i felt like it could go quite fast and there'll be some quite fast parts in this flight footage and it could also go quite slow and because you'll really notice in i guess here's it's got a little bit of speed hooning down here and i think we crash into the plants yeah we do so there's the prop guards coming in handy again ready to get up and keep going but uh, you'll notice you can go quite fast, but you can also go quite slow. There. So there's some slower parts coming up a little bit later where you'll notice just how stable it is in the air. So here I'm sort of getting the hang of it, I guess, learning how to corner with it and that sort of stuff. But overall, I'm really, really impressed and loving it. I wish, I really wish I had some more 2S batteries. Now this is one of those sections, I guess, you could, so you can see the control through there. It's very, very stable, even at slow speeds in, in a hover. Uh, and then I think I do like a little loop and go underneath that chair or the clothes horse or something like that. So uh, it's not, it's a very, a very, very easy quad to fly. So if you're after something that's going to be a little bit of a build, but super stable in the air, really fun and perfect for indoor. And you could also do some outdoor. This thing would have plenty of power. And I reckon this is just, look, it doesn't say you can do this, but I reckon some people out there are probably building these things 
things on 3S. So overall, a very, very fun little quadcopter. I think I crashed just here. Rightio, so there it is. There's my review of the Aurora 90mm brushless tiny whoop style quad. And I've got to say, I'm in love. This thing for me has been a, a total game changer. You know, I've had a lot of fun with the LT105 and stuff, but they've never felt quite so fun. And uh, I've never felt the big pull of the tiny whoop as much as the big ones. And I think that's probably the brushless, uh, brushless side that I love. But flying a 2S brushless tiny whoop around has totally changed me. Straight away, I want to go out and order some new batteries. Now, if you want to build one of these things, in the links down below in the description, there'll be a ton of, I guess, links to all the different parts that I used in here. And it was a really easy build to do as well, especially using these components. Everything went together really, really well. Anyway, so hopefully you guys like that. Uh, subscribe for more FPV-related content. Uh, if you really enjoyed this video, think about hitting that like button because that's one of the best ways that you can help this channel grow. But other than that, uh, subscribe for more FPV related content and as always happy flying All right time to order some 2s batteries Alrighty, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that video definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel and check out these videos and I'm also going to leave a little link here to my patreon page because I've got some fantastic patreon supporters and I like to give back to them as well so if you want to join the UAV futures family there's things like bonus velcro straps little bundles of FPV goodies and things like that that also get sent out anyway happy flying <laughs>